Okay, before I start this video, I just want to say, because I forgot to say in the actual video, yo guys, I finally got a P.O. Box. It finally happened. I got it. Long story. It took me about five days to get it, but that's a story for another day. Anyways, I do have it. The, uh, all the information is down below. So all your fan arts, all the stuff you want to give to me, which is blessed if you actually want to give me something. You don't, if you don't have to, guys, there's no pressure. But if you want to, you definitely can. Um, this is for the people that asked me for it. It's all in the description down below. So thank y'all. Hope y'all enjoy that good news. Enjoy the rest of the video. Have a sweet day. Let's play the actual video. Let's go. Yeah, P.O. Box. What's good, everyone? What is good? Welcome back to the channel with yours truly, of course, Machiavelli. Hope y'all having a great day today. So today we're back with another part. Oh no, what? Another episode of the Sports Speed Build. It's not an episode. It's just a speed. It's just a speed build, Malik. <laughs> so we're doing a speed build today, and today we're gonna be doing an artist organic loft you guys like i was stuck this week i didn't know what to build and then what happened was i went on my requested videos which was a, which was a while back i, I hardly like <laughs> whenever i'm stuck i go on that video and a lot of people ask for um artistic uh, artistic loft and then with an artistic loft i really wanted it to be very inviting and um because when i looked up artistic lofts online they were very um some of them were like a lot of them were very organic a lot of them had a lot of plants and they had art beside the plants and it looked very um aesthetically pleasing so with this one i really want to do that i really want to push my boundaries so i used a lot of different colors um um i use um red brick uh i didn't really stick to my gray and you know my gray and uh white theme i actually use a bunch of colors i use blue um the whites are white but they are like a creamish white gray um brick it's really nice uh you guys well this is just the first half of this the second half i do the bedroom and the bedroom i have never made such a cool bedroom in my life in like my bills because normally with my bills they're all like one color and they like match but this one's like a mismatch of different colors with um different like a lot of potted plants it just looks so good i was just like wow like because the one thing is with color themes you have to know what color theme you're going with unless because unless the colors are going to clash but with me since i'm doing a mismatch of all different kind of colors all the colors just came together but of course there's still a theme there because i chose a bunch of bright colors so to brighten up the room because that was that was the goal as you can see i had a lot of windows to this house because i wanted it to be bright and open because i'm using um a kind of reddish darkest um a reddish darkish <laughs> a reddish darkish um brick so i wanted to open up and uh, make the what's called again the house look more inviting so i used brighter colors um throughout oh no i use a lot of windows throughout the build i don't know i love this build so much uh if you guys want to download it i don't have it on the gallery just yet um i'm trying to find the cc for this so hopefully um you guys will see cc in the description down below if it's not there then it'll be up there later today it's just that i am i'm just really behind on recording right now so um i haven't had the time to make find the cc but i am finding the cc for the plants and for the bed and for all that stuff so if it's not here it will be on part two which will be uploaded tomorrow um yes guys so stay tuned for that like support if the cc is not in this video it'll be in the next one which will be out tomorrow so stay tuned for that and i use i don't know i just love this house this house when i was making it, it made me so happy because i've been in this real funk with building lately like i've been building very um in my terms very um what's it called again in, in um, my terms of clutter uh very what was the type of house? contemporary no um very minimalistic houses um i don't use a lot of clutter as i used to i i pretty much stick to what it's needed in the house and i put a little bit here and there and that's pretty much it but for this build i went back to my roots of when i first started to build and when i used to love clutter i didn't put like an insane amount but i used way much more than i used to and i just missed it i'm like i miss this clutter <laughs> this clutter is my type of clutter and so i was happy to get back and that's because um i'm using all my cc all my cc i i like because i like a simple year before i i have my build cc and then i also have my in-game cc and so i don't use my build cc when i'm playing in game in, in the game it, as you can tell because it's in game cc so normally um when i do my build i really want to keep them like without a lot of cc so i can use them for my own because there's been times where i made these builds and then i use all my cc like my build cc and then i really want to play in it and i can't because i don't have all the cc in my game so what i've been doing recently is just i've been using all my in-game cc which is not a lot well it's a lot compared to other people but it's not a lot to me compared to what i have in right now um and it's not a lot that i can work with 
so um <laughs> it's been pretty hard but i was like you know what um with this build it's cool um and that it happened again i love this build but again it has so much cc in this game that i don't use in my actual game it kind of sucks but um if you guys definitely want it i can put it for the gallery and i'm gonna put it up with no cc and one with cc the one with no cc is gonna just be the house alone it will not be furnished or anything and the one with cc will be furnished and hopefully i'll have the cc up tomorrow or today for the cc we'll see today's my dad's birthday so i don't know if i'll have the time to find the cc but if i don't like i said it'll be t up tomorrow um where i'm gonna find as much as i can um but yeah this house came up beautiful um i loved I, I love those glass walls i don't know i thought that they looked so good and then there's the there's the red brick that i used just to add that pop of you know because with artists they 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 i feel like with artists um they they love to stretch their boundaries they 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 see what everyone else does and they try to recreate it but in more of a <laughs> creative way um they 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 take something that is so normal and then they add this type of touch to it whether it be different colors different palette like different paints um different objects different materials and they make something that looks so ordinary into something so mesmerizing so that's what i wanted to do i wanted to add a little bit of their own character to this house because i'm definitely sure if this was a white and like a white and black house they would have definitely jazzed it up to their own opinions add their own pieces here and there so i wanted to incorporate that in this build I had so much fun doing that that sounds like what I just said sound like I oh my god what I just said sound actually pretty good whoa like the words that were coming out my mouth were flowing right um they just sound good they sound like I knew what I was talking about damn Malik, that was good I'm, I'm proud of myself <laughs> that, that 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 little bit of speech I just said right there was pretty impacting <laughs> if I would say the least um but anyways is there anything else i want to talk about to this build because i could talk about this build forever because it's one of my favorite builds like i haven't built something like this in such a long time and i love it and it's one of my favorite builds that i've built recently and i hope you guys learn it too because i loved it so if we both love it yay um i also want to say um thank you guys so much for all the positive comments in the last video it really means a lot y'all are awesome love y'all and yes guys don't worry in the future i'll be i'll, I'll be calmer I will it's just you know something happened it flew to my head I'm not used to having like I'm used to having um, people comment about my stuff in um about me in uh, what's called in, in the real world but on YouTube I'm, I'm not I wasn't prepared for that yet so um but now I will be so I got you guys don't worry um, the rant videos about those stuff will be done um, I got this but yeah I added the bricks at the top because I thought you know what it would be a brick wall so um, I decided to raise it up to the roof I totally wanted to um, make the roof usable but you know I was like Malik you, you got enough space you're good you're good um, <laughs> but I think this build is just like this one is mainly just me doing the outside and doing the kitchen and yeah I add a lot of plants like and that like the box up right up there is the artist room which is really nice it has like two easels and guys you're gonna say I don't know if I do everything in this part I'm pretty sure I do some but in the next part you guys will see definitely the more of the furniture aspect and me uh, putting all the colors together I don't know even the bathroom guys I even put work in the bathroom y'all know I hate bathrooms okay they're useless you just go in there you take a shower you leave that's it um you take a shower you take a dump you brush your teeth you wash your face and you're you're done you're golden um that's pretty much all used for bathroom so i hate doing them because they're a waste of time in the sims 4 but with this one i really wanted to go all out because you know i was watching <laughs> which always happens i was watching hgtv and i was watching fixer upper and i was watching on um, this other one called tiny houses and then they made their bathroom look so nice and now i'm like i have to re re like recreate it and so i tried to recreate their bathroom that they had in their old washroom in this house and i think it came up pretty well it's not exact because i don't have all the materials and i don't have the right the right walls to make it but i think it looks really good they had like a bathtub in the middle of their um in the middle of their bathroom but you'll see in the next part i couldn't do that because that bathroom's a, just a bit just a bit too small but um, i also put it a barn door oh my god guys, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm obsessed i love barn doors i love them they put one in fixer upper that i was watching they used the barn door as an actual door and it was awesome i'm like i need a barn door in my life like i want to dump this door like my actual room door out and just get a barn door because they look so cool so i'm definitely i'm just so excited guys when i get a house it's gonna be lit 
like it's gonna be lit when i get a house oh the makeovers that are going to happen the redos the renos oh it's gonna be great guys but that's gonna happen like the next five years but if you guys are still watching me in five years y'all gonna come on this journey with me and we're gonna renovate my house move that bus no that's that's that, that, that's a wrong show that's like um move that bus extreme house makeover is that what it is i don't even remember <laughs> it's, it's like this house it's like the show where um these people do good and then the people decide to give them a new house because why not and they make the coolest houses oh my god i just remembered that show that's the show where i love to build too that was one of the shows that very much inspired me to build too if you guys remember that show it goes move that bus and they take these these um old or these um broken down like houses that are like the, like that are like going from these very nice people and then they'd make it over for them but then when they made it over they did like all these really cool stuff to it like i remember this one there was this kid's room and then they added like a little ball pen in the back and then it was like a slide to go down from his bed in the morning like and there's a lot of like it was so cool i was like i want this to happen to my house <laughs> so i think that's where like it actually like i am saying my dining started but that's where like all my creative my creative thoughts came from was from that show it was just such a good show and i loved it i, I literally just remember it right now i'm like wait that show i remember that show because i used to be so envious of like the people in their houses i'm like when i grow up i'm gonna have a house just like that um but yeah, I've been watching um, house shows for so long. My favorite, I'm pretty sure I told you guys my favorite. My favorite is definitely um, my favorite show. My favorite show would definitely have to be um, Love It or List It, or it would have to be uh, <laughs> Love It or List It, or it would have to be, I can't remember. What would it have to be? Love It or List It, or... Fixer Upper is good, but it's not my favorite. Oh, Income Property or um, Property Virgins. Property Virgins, Income Property, House Hunters, and Love It or List It. Those are my four favorite shows on HGTV, the shows I love to watch. And also this new one is called Tiny Living. Really good. Um, I know, I love watching those shows for fun. People might watch it just to get inspiration, but I just like watching it for fun. Like, I can sit there. I, I sit there with my with my mom, and we've watched um, Property Virgins. Not Property Virgins. Um, what's it called? Yeah not property version income property for so long because excuse me when we were doing my basement um that show really helps out because it's about like this dude taking a basement or whatever and turning it into income property and my mom really wants to turn this basement into it so um we're still on the verge of doing it right now but yeah those shows very much impacted my life so much so I really love those shows income property um house um property virgins house hunters and lover listed those are definitely my favorite shows to watch um but anyways guys so if you guys are coming to the end of this video you guys are the real ogs um shout out to my ogs that actually stay to at the end of the videos um y'all are y'all the greatest because today i got a best a very special announcement to make so today i'm gonna be doing my first ever giveaway guys my first ever one it is happening Ooh, it's happening um so today i was gonna be giving out four but i can't afford it sadly but i'll be giving i'm gonna be giving out three of the new game pack um what's it called again family living um no parenthood pam parent living i don't even know but the new game pack that's be coming out i'm be giving away three copies of those so if you guys want to win them um definitely go check out the description down below it'll have all the rules it's pretty simple um all you have to do is one in the comment post what is your mm -hmm, what is your favorite if you guys have one favorite tv show um um it could be any tv show out there like what's your favorite and also tell me also with your favorite tv show i need to know what is your origin also you have to be following me on origin of course because i'm giving them out through gifts so make sure you have your gift thing working um i know for one person i, I tried to do gifts the other day and only one person i could give a gift to maybe because everyone else has the game but um make sure your gifting thing is like working that's great so all you have to do again um, of course be subscribed to the channel that's definite go um this is for my subscribers from people that's been supporting me and the reason why i'm telling you guys this night now because i'm giving you guys an early shot because in 24 hours i'll be picking the first one out of the three on this video um to win the prize this is not the actual video for the giveaway this is just a little early one for the people that have been on my channel for so long and that always comes and watches my videos right away so you guys have first pick of the first 
um, game pack of the game. So um, definitely, um, like I said before, follow me on um, leave your um, what's called again. So of course you have to be subscribed to this channel. Oh my god, I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> I was gonna say drop a like if you want to, but I, I hate saying that. It's all cringy. Um, so subscribe to this channel, of course, and you have to um, write your favorite um, TV show and then also what your origin in the comments below because I'm gonna be contacting you on origin if you guys win or not. And also follow me on origin because it make life so much easier. And if you wanna know about all my information, it's in the, co the description down below. So go check that out for other more tips and rules and all that stuff. So anyways, guys, I hope you all enjoy. Thank you all so much watching and also one comment per person guys one comment if you have more than one comment you'll be disqualified one comment one comment so anyways guys hope y'all enjoy thank y'all so much for watching i love y'all and have a great day see you in pot number two deuces y'all deuces peace dab yo olo a uh suave yeah boom <laughs>